Hi everybody, so I'm bad at technology and I had recorded this whole video beforehand and then I realized that one of the second like screen recording videos was like weird and didn't do it right. So I was going to go back and like play up until that point but then I just got lost like watching the footage trying to figure out where I left off. So I just decided I'd record the whole thing again which is a real bummer because my dog started barking in one of the voice recordings and it was awesome. So here we are in the parlor, so Victorian, so wonderful and vintage, great. <laughs> so we're going to look over here. We're going to explore a little bit, see what it has to offer. It's good to know what's here. Yes, because the first thing I like to do when I go to a new place is locate the nearest fire extinguisher. Here we have some old papers. 1894 and 1906. Those are some old documents right there. Pawn those off for some good money. Wonderful. Here's a little book on subterranean San Francisco, which is pretty much exploring the hidden world of San Francisco called City Spelunking you're pretty much just tromping around in sewers. You know, if you can't find a hobby, there's city spelunking. Oh, is that a ghost? No other, no other possible explanation. It's a ghost. Then in this drawer, we have a letter first from... Rose's friend Hugh to her pretty much just saying that he's a loser and his life is boring and then asking about how her Victorian mansion is going and then here's her response back pretty much just saying it's going great and then it cuts off like in the middle of it because she's like I'm busy too busy for you loser all right then we're gonna go into the library this is normally where one of our suspects, Lewis, is going to be. And just as a BTW, I kind of got too far before I decided I was going to re-record the whole thing. So normally there's three tiles missing here because it's stuck. we realize that thing is stuck. And I mean, there's three of those tiles missing, so that's odd. So if you push these books, oh, it's not going to let me do it anymore. But if you click on these books, they like spread apart and then there is the tile right there. So I decided when I did that, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to re-record the whole video. Because why not? Um, this is a little excerpt about the Firebird, also known as the Phoenix. I wonder if its name is Fox. Oh, that's a Harry Potter joke. Not even a joke. That was just a stupid statement. Is there any books that we can... Ooh! See, this is why I would be a horrible detective in real life, because my magnifying glass won't light up red when I'm supposed to look at something. This is just a book about pianos, because guess what? We're going to have a piano puzzle. So if you don't know how to play the piano, Nancy Drew has you covered. And on these Mahjong tiles, what's this? In the four-sided box, losers explored it. That's right, another little piece of the poem, the Chinese symbol for the number four. So we're gonna wanna make a note of that. Over in this corner, just so much books because we're in a library, so that only makes sense. We have a little biography on Lizzie Applegate, who has ties to this mansion. So little interesting tidbits about her, pretty much. She just wrote and starred in some plays and it's naming them off. But they have some interesting names. The Riddle of the Chinese Box, The Fire in the Phoenix Eye, and Rainbow's Gold. And the Bandit's Treasure. So, I mean, what could that mean? My dog is begging to get on my lap, but I'm kind of busy. So he might start barking. And if so, I'm going to jump. Maybe I'll give him like a sympathy pet. And another music book for those musically impaired. All right, and then we'll snoop on Lewis's laptop later because I'm scared that he's gonna walk in and be like, excuse me, and Nancy's like, I was just checking my email. 
can't, did email exist like back when this game came out? Don't know the year. I think it was 2000, so I'm going to say a hearty yes. We go, we're going to take the paint scraper because we still need to get those tiles off the ceiling for Rose. So, need some handy tools for that. All right, as an update, my dog is now seated comfortably on my lap, so we have a co-detective today. Although you can't see him, I'm sure you can feel his spirit. All right, so we are going to go back to our room because we want to meet Lewis. Oh, another little noise. Stop with the hauntings. <laughs> So we're gonna set the alarm to 12. Oh my gosh, it's like in 15 minutes. It couldn't just like hurry up for me. <laughs> Bend to my will time. Which is like, that's kind of one of the bummers of some of the games where you can control time like down to the hour. It's like, you just have to like, be like, hey, I'm gonna take a nap at like four so I can wake up at midnight and snoop through everybody's things. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Oh, we have a little bouquet of roses. How romantic. Right, let's go have a chat with Lewis. He's reading. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book that I couldn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. Gosh, that must be an interesting book because my presence is so memorable. Pleased to meet you. My name is Nancy Drew. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer, and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovation. Is that how they're paying him? They're like, yeah, you can use the library, but no money. You must know a lot about the house's history. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. That's, that's nice. Abby thinks the mansion is haunted. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. Okay, Lewis, I was looking for reassurance that I was just imagining things, but okay, thanks. What are you using the library for? Research. This library contains many rare books and documents that predate the Great Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. What do you think could be the cause of these accidents Rose has been having? Accidents? I know Rose had mentioned some inconveniences like that wall covering and the light supply, but I would hardly call those accidents. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment, and although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. Okay, so he says he's busy and then he just keeps reading. So I think we can all take a lesson from Lewis. If you don't want to talk to somebody, just say, sorry, I'm busy, and then just go back to what you were doing, even if it was like nothing. Feel great. Thanks, Lewis. Gosh, jerk. <laughs> Feeling the pain. Let's see if Abby's done meditating. The spirits wish to speak to you, Nancy. Ooh. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Oh no. I do dare. Please sit down. We really don't have time for this. I think Rose is nervous. Let's nervous. Begin. Can't talk. We are gathered here tonight. I'm nervous. To contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. Where can she be? 
Wow. The spirits have spoken. The seance is over. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. Well, Rose obviously didn't want to let everybody know that that scared the crap out of her. Well, now that it is late, it's some snooping time. Um, who's crying? And what was that shadow? Is Abby crying? Because her seance was a success? No, she's sleeping. Maybe it's me. Just kidding, it wasn't. It wasn't Nancy. It's most likely a ghost. I'm going to check out the basement first. I really don't need the scary music to accompany it. So we're going to grab a screwdriver from Charlie's toolbox for later use. And then we're going to look under the table the seance was held at. And a smoke machine and a projector. And a tape, which we're going to take so that we can see what's on it. But it's looking to me like the seance was staged and I'm thoroughly let down. Abby, I've known you for less than a day and you've already disappointed me. It's stuck. So we're going to have to find something to get that grate unstuck because I like to explore fireplaces too. We're going to use this cute little antique register and a key. We'll see if it goes anywhere because it must serve some purpose. All right. Oh, um, well, I definitely closed the door and nobody followed behind me. So I had no flipping idea what that was. Great. I love haunted places. She said with feigned confidence. We're gonna sneak. We're not even gonna sneak. We're just gonna go on Lewis's laptop. But we don't know his login name or password. But luckily for us, he has a maze game to bypass his computer security because that's a smart move. In these maze games, I either do like them really quickly or I just like totally suck at them. And it takes me like a couple minutes. So let's hope it's the first one because. I don't know, I feel like sometimes in these maze games, I just like get myself more lost than I need to be. Oh, well, I, I made it lighter. Oh, look, this is going to be one of those five second ones. Because there is the finish tile. Bless. It's not going to be like a repeat of the entirety of Stay Tuned for Danger. All right, so here in this little drawer is just a boring city guide that we have no use for. And in the keys, we now know that his password is antiques, which is a terrible password because he deals with the antiques. That's like making your computer password password. Um, and his briefcase code, we're going to need that later. So we're going to write that down too. And then we can't do anything else on his laptop right now, so pretty much just a giant waste of my time. I'm just kidding. And then a book on chess that... I don't even think this has a purpose in the game, and if it does, I've never used it before, but in case you wanted to learn about the knight in chess, there's your book. Alright, so I'm going to end our video here, nice, short, and sweet, and next video we are going to do some more little chores to help with these renovations, and I don't know, maybe we'll try to figure out what the heck is behind these hauntings and Abby's faked seance. So look out for that next video and thanks for watching.